This video will show you how to create a cross-classification table in Excel. Before we begin, you should be aware that the cross-classification table is actually called a pivot table in Excel. Recall that both of your variables must be categorical. In this example, we'll be taking a look at gender versus political party. Collect the data for one of your variables in column A and the other in column B. Make sure that your variables have names in the first row, in this case gender and political party. Also, make sure that responses that are in the same row are coming from the same observation. Click on the Insert tab at the, in the menu at the top, and then click on Pivot Table on the far left. In the box under Select a Table or Range, select all of your data in columns A and B, including the variable names in the top row. In the second box next to Location, click on any cell in the worksheet where your data is not contained. Here, we'll click on cell D1, indicating that we want our pivot table, or cross-classification table, to begin in cell D1. At this point, we can click OK. Now a window will appear over here on the right with our variable names. We'll drag gender from the top list to the box at the bottom under rows. This will place male and female in each in its own row in column D. Similarly, drag political party in the section at the top down to columns. In the cross classification table, we now have a column for Democrat and a column for Republican. To finish off the table and get the counts for each cell, we can drag either one of the variable names to the section under values. The counts for each combination of categories now appears in your completed cross-classification table.